welcome back to Two Camping Gurus. Today, we're going to test out a popcorn popper that you can use over a campfire. What went wrong with my campfire popcorn popper? We're going to just use this popcorn popper. I'll put a link for it in the description. Uh, we're also going to do it on a one log fire and see if you actually can cook on one of these. And I'll put a link in the, the uh, description area for a video I showed how to make one of these. We're also going to be using Instafire to actually light our fire and light the log on fire. And of course I got a one-third uh, cup of popcorn and some oil. We're going to put in that popper and see what happens. So let me just go ahead and get this thing all up and running and then we'll uh, turn the camera back on once we get ready to start popping because that's the part we want to know if it works. Okay, so it turns out my block is a little wetter than I thought, but we, we did get it going. It took me a little longer than I thought. As you can see, the flames are all the way up here too now, so we should get uh, enough heat to pop some popcorn. And it's been, uh, this thing's brand new, so you can still see that it's uh, just starting to char the bottom of that as well as inside here. So anyway, let's uh, go ahead and what we have here is a little less than a third a cup of popcorn and some oil. I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. Set that aside. Close this up. I might have a smoky flavored popcorn. Uh, but you know what? That's okay. So let's just see if this uh, starts to sizzle or not. We already have popcorn popping. popping. I don't know if you can hear it or not. We still have good flame. I can hear the oil sizzling, and we have pop. We have more popcorn popping now. The heat is concentrated to a relatively small area, so you're gonna have to shake it around to get it all popped, but it is popping. They're not popping with a lot of gusto, though, so, um, well, I guess they're starting to. Alright guys, um, it's been going quite a bit here and I think I should have got this hotter and a little bit better flame than like I have now before I got started on this because uh, some of the popcorn that was popping, I don't think it was a super hot enough to really give it a pop because you heard later in the video they started popping good. Meanwhile the ones that popped early uh, were starting to burn. So I did get some uh, burnt popcorn here and I kind of, so I kind of wonder, it's crunchy. Uh, it tastes fine as long as you get the ones that aren't burnt. I kind of like my popcorn burnt a little bit anyways, but typically this is not what people are going to look for when they purchase an item like this. So, one, I'm not sure a one log fire is perfect for cooking something like popcorn because you really want to heat more of the area of the base. Uh, so you get, you know, right now I got a heating area of this big, so I constantly have to move this around to get the whole bottom warm and get the kernels all in the hottest spot. So part of a fail for the product, but I don't think it's all the product's fault because if this thing was on hot coals, this popcorn would have popped no problem at all. Uh, with that said, it does pop popcorn, you heard it. When I got popcorn here, perfectly fine. Uh, it tastes fine, I love popcorn. I should have had a bigger heat source to make it work better. If you're gonna boil water, this is perfect. I did lose one of my rocks here. The water is gonna heat better because it's in a pan, it's big in a pan. You can heat one area and the water is gonna move as it gets hot. Would I recommend this item? Absolutely. If you're out at a campfire and you um, have a good fire going, not necessarily a one log fire, this thing would absolutely work no problem. And I might even try it over a campfire and I'll do a video for that as well so we can show it actually working the way it should. It even has a slight smoky flavor. Just what you like, you're out there camping. So the question is, do these campfire popcorn pans actually work? And the answer to that is, yes, they do. Uh, the problem I have was a small heating surface, heating area, and that's why I ended up burning some of the popcorn. It does have a longer handle that you can put on this, so you can hold it you know, much further away from a fire. And to put it away, the handle can be reversed and put like this so it's not um, in the way <clears throat> and that can come off as well. I will put a link for this in the description down below so if you're interested in getting one for yourself. Also, I'll put a link for Instafire down in the description as well. There's still a little bit of oil in there. Uh, down in the description as well. This is a great product. I bought this particular bucket here. I think it was $20 or something like that. And this thing will do a lot of fires. 
and I'll put a link to the video I did a review on some of the product and I have a couple more products that they sent out to me that I have not done videos on so those will be coming um, in the future videos as well I know I keep putting it back on this someone's gonna say you're just burning it more and you're right I don't mind burning popcorn all right well I hope you found this video helpful if nothing else maybe a little bit entertaining and you can certainly put your criticisms down here in the uh, comment area of what I screwed up uh, making this popcorn uh, but there'll be a link for this in the description link for the popcorn I mean the um, Instafire and I'll put a link for a couple of the videos I did on making this and doing other tests on this Instafire product so if you want to make your own one log campfire you certainly can uh, but this would be a great thing to heat up a pan of water hey if you haven't done so already don't forget to click on the link to get your free ebook and pre-trip checklist to make sure you and your rig are ready for the road also swing over to our website twocampinggurus.com don't forget to like subscribe so you don't miss future videos click that bell icon so you're notified when my next videos come out which typically right now are monday mornings 9 a.m eastern time have a great day happy camping and we'll see you in the next video could use a little soft